Hey guys, and welcome to Jay's Nest. Today, I'm going to be answering all of your questions about meconium and cloth diapers. I see this question over and over and over again, both here on my channel and also all over in the cloth diapering community. A lot of people are too scared to cloth diaper because of meconium. I've heard people say that your cloth diapers will get ruined if you cloth diaper while your baby has meconium. And they've even convinced other people to not cloth diaper because it'll ruin your diapers. I asked you guys on Instagram what questions you had about meconium and cloth diapers. And a lot of your questions were around washing them, does it stain, how do you get stains out, is it water soluble, is it easy to deal with. So all of those questions we're going to be answering today. But first we're going to start off with what is meconium? Meconium is just a fancy word for baby's first poop. It's like a tar-like consistency. It's a very, very, very dark green color. It almost looks black. It's very sticky and it has the tendency to stick to everything, whether it's cloth diapers or your baby's bum. Personally, I found that it's harder to remove off of your baby's bum than it actually is off of cloth diapers. Meconium usually lasts for a few days. A lot of times people only find that it lasts during the hospital. For us, it lasted until my milk came in. I do breastfeed, my milk came in around three to four days, and once my milk came in, her meconium went away. Generous. But generally, a little bit. But generally speaking, it lasts about a few days. The first question we're going to tackle is, does it need special care? The short and quick answer to that is no. It does not need special care. It actually washes right out. I find that it's easier to wash out than normal poop breastfed poop, formula poop, it washes out really easily. As long as you have proper agitation in your wash routine, in your washer while you're cleaning your diapers, you should have absolutely no issue getting meconium out of your diapers. I feel like this question really covers a lot of the other questions as far as you don't have to do anything special with it. Nothing at all. Nothing. Liners, special ointments like putting coconut oil on your baby's bum, having to spray it out general blanket statement, no, absolutely not. It is water soluble. And we'll get to more of these questions in a minute. The next question is, is it water soluble and is it hard to wash? So is it water soluble? Yes, yes it is water soluble. It seriously washes right out. Will it ruin your washer? No. Will it coat your washer? No. Will it ruin your diapers? <laughs> Absolutely not. It washes out so easily, guys. Your baby's poop is sterile when they first come out. So this poop is very, very easy to wash out. I really don't understand why people always perpetuate this myth that it'll ruin your washer or it'll ruin your diapers. It washes out really easy. And is it hard to wash? Absolutely not. And that's the best part. I did cloth diaper in the hospital and I found it was really nice that when I got home from the hospital, after we had enough dirty diapers, I could just throw it into the wash and not have to worry about it. It doesn't matter if your baby is formula fed or breastfed. In those first few days, we were using a mixture of mainly formula and just a little bit of breast milk. I didn't have any issue with washing it out, even though we did feed her formula. So it just washes out really easily. And when you're coming home from the hospital, it's really nice to be able to just throw everything in the wash and not have to do anything special with it especially if you had a c-section or if you had an unexpected labor. My labor was pretty unexpected. My fourth baby, my labor was six hours start to finish. It was so nice and easy. This labor was almost a full day of just laboring and I was dog tired in the hospital, like completely exhausted by the time I got home. I didn't really have much energy to do anything. I was just so exhausted. So it felt really nice to be able to just throw those cloth diapers right into the washer and not have to do anything special with them. The next question is, will it stain? That's a good question. And this question is yes and no. It can stain, but will it stain? Maybe not. A lot of people don't deal with staining at all. I did deal with a little bit of staining on a few of my diapers, but the other ones I did not. I don't know why some diapers stained over other diapers, but it does wash out really easily. But if you're somebody that's worried about stains, there are a few things that you can do in order to prevent stains or to help get the stains out. 
first I'm gonna show you one of the diapers that did have staining. It was my Happy Flute newborn all-in-one. We brought this one to the hospital. It had a lot of meconium in it. I just threw it into the washer. After I was out of the washer, it did have staining on it. But after using it, after sunning it, after washing it again, there's absolutely no stains on it anymore. But with meconium, I found that with the staining, I washed it, I dried it, I used the diaper, I put it on baby with the stain, I washed it again, I stuck it in the sun, and the stain was gone. So it's, I mean, it's as simple as that. It will eventually wash out if you don't take care of the stain, it will wash out. But if you do wanna do some stain care or to help prevent stains, here are a few things that you can do. You could add OxyClean to your wash. I don't do this, I did in my early journey, but you could add OxyClean to your wash and that helps remove some of the stains. You could also use a Bunch of Farmer stick, which is this little tiny stain stick. So you wash it, you rub the Bunch of Farmer stick on it, let the Bunch of Farmer sit on your diaper for a minute, throw it back into the wash, and usually the stain is gone. I haven't personally used that for meconium, but I know a lot of people do use that for cloth diaper stains in general. You could use liners, you could use a fleece liner, you could use a disposable liner with your diapers to help keep the poop off of the diapers so you don't have to deal with that meconium sticking to your diapers. You could also use coconut oil. Put coconut oil on at every single diaper change because you don't know when baby is going to poop. This will help keep the meconium from one, sticking to your baby's bum because sometimes it's really hard to get the meconium off your baby's bum because it's so tar-like. And two, it helps it keep it it helps it keep from sticking to your baby's bum. I'm having the biggest tongue tie today, guys. My tongue is super tied. <laughs> Those are all just a few common ways that people use for poop in general, but also for staining. So maybe some of these solutions will help you guys if you guys are worried about stains, but I'm telling you, it's not really something to worry about. I, I guess I should also mention, you could also use the sun. Uh, make sure your diaper is wet and clean straight out of the dryer straight out of the washer so you wash your diapers it's still wet stick it directly into the Sun and the Sun will help naturally take those stains away it literally bleaches it I don't know what kind of witchcraft it is but it works sometimes meconium might not come all the way out with sunning but it does help a lot another question I got is can you wash it with, with other diapers I'm assuming this question means if you're cloth diapering another child and you want to wash all of their diapers together, yes, you definitely can. You can definitely wash it with other diapers. It's not going to ruin any other diapers or get meconium on any other diapers. At least in my experience, it didn't. It's definitely not going to ruin your diapers or coat your diapers with anything. But yeah, you can definitely wash it with other diapers with no issue. Does it stain certain materials? So yeah, it does stain certain materials. I don't think it's too picky about what it stains. Usually things like natural fibers, let me give you an example, like a flat or a prefold, you can get your cotton, cotton materials, hemp materials, these will stain really easily. This goes for any type of poop, whether it's meconium, breastfed, formula fed, or if your baby is on solids. These stain a lot easier than any other type of material. If you're using something like a pocket diaper, here we go, I've got a pocket here. So if you're using something like a pocket diaper for a newborn or maybe an all-in-one with a fleece lining like this, it's less likely to stain, but it can stain. And the diaper that I have as an example that did stain actually has that micro fleece inside. So I don't think meconium is too picky about what it chooses to stain because I, I believe any material could get stained, whether you're using a micro fleece, a micro suede, or even a natural fiber like cotton hemp or bamboo. But with that said, I do find the natural fibers to be way more forgiving with meconium as far as being able to wash it out and sun it out a lot easier. It These in general wash a lot easier than something like microfiber or a type of micro fleece or micro suede. What I found is with the meconium, if I stuck this outside in the sun, the meconium stain would go away completely. As with the micro fleece inner, like my little Joey's or my THX or Happy Flute all-in-ones, 
those did take a little more work for the meconium staining to come out. Again, for me, not a big deal, but if you're worried about stains, that might be something worth th thinking about. How to treat staining. I did kind of talk about some ways to maybe prevent staining and also kind of how to treat staining, but here we're going to talk about completely treating staining. So let's say you had a poopy diaper, you threw it in the wash, and now it's stained. So what do you do now that it's stained? For me, what I like to do is I like to stick it in the sun right out of the washer when it's clean to let the sun kind of do a natural way of, you know, taking the stain out. Another thing that you could do is after it's out of the washer and it's still wet, take a little bit of a solution mixed with lemon oil, not lemon oil, <laughs> lemon juice. Guys, my brain is mush today. <laughs> lemon juice and water, you mix it together and you spray it on the diaper and that helps get the stains out as well. That's just one trick that you can use for any of your cloth diapers that have staining. Is it guaranteed to completely take all stains out? No, but it does work really well. And if you do use this way of taking the stain out, please remember to rewash it because if not, you're going to have that lemon juice directly against baby's bum. Pizza. Ooh. It's lunchtime. Cheers. It's a mukbang now. Mukbang. 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 You guys into that? No? Okay. Use your bunch of farmer stick, which a lot of cloth diaper retailers sell those. I think they're about $4 a piece. They're a tiny little stick. I actually have one. I'm too lazy to go grab it, but I'll throw a clip up for you guys. It's a really tiny stick. It works well. I also use it with my mama cloth, my cloth pads. I forgot to write it down in my notes, but there is another way that you can use to get stains out. I forget, I forget, I forget what the name is but I'll put it right here for you guys while I'm editing this video because that is another way that you can get stains out. Do you have to spray meconium into the toilet? No, you don't have to spray meconium in the toilet. You can if you want. That also helps prevent staining in the future once you spray fresh meconium off the diaper. But is it necessary? No. And honestly, for those first few days after you have a baby, it's like, you know, you're really tired, you just pushed a human out of your body, or you had a, a human cut out of your body. I've had both of those, and let me tell you, neither of those are easy. Give yourself some grace. If you don't want to spray it, you don't have to spray it. I promise the stains will not ruin your diapers. Ugh, fly. The stains will not ruin your diapers. Okay, now this next one is liner versus no liner. For me, I'm pretty lazy, so I choose no liner unless your baby is sensitive to wetness, which I have ran into, and that's the only reason why I do use a micro fleece liner, but specifically for the intention of meconium diapers, I don't, but again, it's just personal preference. If you want to use liners, you definitely can. It'll help keep the meconium off your diapers. Do you have to? No. If you're lazy and you want to do a, you know, the least minimal amount of effort towards your diapers, you don't have to. Meconium staining does look scary. In your diapers, they'll turn like a dark green color, and, it, and sometimes you wonder like, are my diapers getting clean? What the hell? Yes, your diapers are getting clean. Just sometimes newborn poop really stains things, especially meconium, when it does stain. Now, not everybody gets stains with meconium. Some people do, some people don't. I've been on both ends of the spectrum where some of my diapers stained, some, some of them didn't, so. And when it does stain, it does kind of look scary, but you know, liners are a personal preference and you don't necessarily have to use them if you don't want to use them. I say go with whatever you feel is right. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer here. It's just whatever you would like to do. I also got this specific question, would um, cutting up flannel into liners work? Absolutely, that would definitely work if you're trying to keep the meconium off the diapers. I think flannel, it definitely wouldn't give that stay dry effect like a fleece liner, but I don't see any reason why a flannel liner wouldn't work. I would say maybe instead of like one layer of flannel, maybe two layers of flannel for extra protection. Sometimes poop can be a little liquidy, so maybe the liquidiness of the poop could seep through the flannel since it's a little thinner than a micro fleece liner, but 
I don't see why it wouldn't work. We're gonna get a little TMI here, but Willow's meconium poop was explosive. Like, it looks like her regular newborn poop, besides the color, obviously. I've never seen meconium poop quite like that. Usually meconium poop is just really tar-like, and it's just small, so it like, covers a small area of the diaper. Hers was like <clears throat> But she also did inhale a bunch of fluid as she was coming out, so I think her poop was getting rid of all that fluid that she swallowed at birth, so maybe that's why. But her poop was pretty explosive when she was born, and I was very surprised to see a newborn's poop like that. I have never experienced that before. So for that reason, I would say maybe do like a two-layer two flannel liner if you're trying to keep the meconium off your diapers. Like I said, I don't have personal experience with that, but I don't see why that wouldn't work. And the last question is just more of a personal question, kind of less about the meconium and cloth diapers and more about a specific way of diapering your newborn with meconium. Would a pad fold work? Pad fold is just this, if you're not familiar with what that is. It's literally just a flat or a pre-fold in a rectangle. Folding your diaper into a rectangle, pad fold, tri-fold, whatever you want to call it, that's what this is, and laying it inside of a cover. Will this catch meconium poop? Yes, it should. I did say that Willow had explosive poop, so maybe with her specifically, it would have gotten on a cover if I didn't pin it around her. But for the most part, this should catch the poop just fine, and it shouldn't get onto a cover. You know, there might be the case where it does get on a cover, but I don't see why it would unless your baby did swallow a little bit of fluid on the way out, which caused the poop to become a little more liquidy than normal, but generally speaking, meconium is pretty tar-like, and so it usually takes up just a small area of the diaper where your baby is pooping. So poop really shouldn't get onto the cover with meconium. Like I said, there's always those weird cases. Willow was one of them explosive meconium so it can happen it'll just vary from baby to baby all right guys those are all of your questions generally answered within all of these questions if you guys have any other questions about meconium drop it down below if you found this video helpful don't forget to share it because I know there's just this huge stigma around meconium and cloth diapers and I'm here to help break that stigma here to help break that myth help me break that myth share this video especially with those moms who are scared of meconium. Do you have to cloth diaper with meconium? No. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Like I said, those first few days, you're probably tired. You probably don't want to deal with any more work than you have to. You don't have to. You can wait until the meconium passes. But I just want to let you guys know that don't be scared of the meconium. Don't listen to these people saying, it'll ruin your diapers, it'll ruin your washer. It's hard to wash out. It's not. It is the easiest poop to wash out of your diapers. Don't let it sit for like a week. You know, don't do that because it will become hard and crusty, but it still washes out just fine, okay? I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you found it helpful, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you next time. I'm still gonna eat this pizza. I took one bite out of it earlier. If I asked if you guys like mukbangs, mukbangs, Mookbangs, mookbangs. How do you say that? I don't know. But I love pizza. Do you guys like pizza? I like pizza. What's your guys' favorite pizza? I think they were talking about like fast food. Or food you can order. I really like Domino's pizza. I have a really good Alfredo pizza. That's probably one of my favorite pizzas. I don't eat meat, so I get mine just plain, just plain cheese. I think, what is this? This is Papa John's, I think. Yeah, this is Papa John's, which I'm not crazy about Papa John's. We have a place kind of on my side of the state slash Ohio called La Rosa's. I don't know if it exists on any other place of the United States, but La Rosa's is pretty good too. I am wearing Lip Sense lipstick. So, stays on. Though, I do have issues with this lipstick, but, you know, it's long lasting. And it doesn't get on my pizza. 
anybody else fold their pizza like this? Or just me? Just me? Okay. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop mukbanging, mukbanging, whatever, however you say it. And I'll actually see you next time.